Not like there's a passenger gas pedal. We didn't get that option. Hey there guys, welcome to a yet another van build video. So this week we are going to install our seat swivels. So we really wanted swivel seats. Uh, we feel like um, just them turning around will really open up the space and give us more room to kind of kick back and relax. And before we really truly get started, I um, wanted to let you know that this is on a 2019 Sprinter. Um, we do not have the handbrake next to the uh, driver's seat. And the seats are a little different between 2008 and 2019. Um, 2018, to use these swivels, you have to actually trim the plastic on the seat a little bit. I'm not sure if we're going to have to do that on the 2019, but I guess it's something that we're about to find out. All right, so this is what comes in the kit. even comes with, uh, looks like, three little 1x3s. So you can incorporate these into your van build later. So the very first step that they suggest that you do is to disconnect your battery. Now, um, it says the negative terminal, but the Sprinter has this nifty little feature. So right next to the driver's side gas pedal, not like there's a passenger gas pedal. We didn't get that option. Um, it has a battery disconnect. So you just press down on the disconnect and pull it off and your battery's disconnected. Woo, that came off. It's really hard to see in there without any light. Okay, so we've disconnected the battery using the little fancy uh, quick disconnect. Um, on the 2018, it's right to the right of the um, gas pedal. I don't know um, any other year models, but uh, it's pretty simple. Um, with the 2019, it's a little hard to get your hand into, but hey, eventually got it. So um, we're gonna, allow about 20 minutes before we start unhooking things. Um, both of these seats have airbags inside of them. We don't want to accidentally deploy them. That would be a bad day. And um, also we don't want to throw any codes. So um, if you just unplug them, then apparently it'll throw a code and it's expensive to clear. So yeah, see you in 20. All right, so next we're going to disconnect the little wiring harness. I'm going to find underneath the seat that's right about here. Yay! That was easy enough. Alright, so next we're going to be taking out the screws that are in the base of the seat. They are E20 Torx, or I'm using a multi-purpose uh, 3 8 bit um, to get all four of these loose. Wow, it's like 3D! Whoa. Okay, so our, all four bolts from the base of the seat are removed. Now we remove the seat itself. So the instructions say to set the seat aside. Um, you definitely don't want to toss them because you will need that part later, in case you didn't know. So now it's time to set our swivel pedestal on top of the base that we just removed the seat from. These puppies are heavy! Okay, so now we're going to use the original hardware that um, held the seat in place to begin with. And we're going to do one at a time. You're going to want to lift up on your swivel and move it so that you can actually reach the screw holes. If not, I think it would be pretty much impossible to install. Instructions say one rear, finger tight. Okay, so our bolts are in finger tight. Instructions say next we are going to tighten them down to 20 foot pounds. And then we'll be ready to put the seat on. Okay, so in true uh, van build fashion, I realized that, so this wiring harness here on the front, it can only go so far. Um, if I was to put the seat on and swivel it, we would probably just destroy our wiring harness for the seat. So what we're gonna have to do is I'm gonna mark this, I'm gonna bring this through. So hopefully that'll fix our problem. Um, 
don't need to be swiveling around and have the airbags deploy because we broke the harness or something crazy happened and well so no big deal it's just four bolts okay so our bolts are out we're gonna lift this back up Arr. Arr. that's an important part is the sound effect that you you have to make when you're lifting heavy things so once again i use this little hole here as a template and that's where we're going to bring our wire through okay so we've made our hole we've pulled our connector through now we're going to put our base back on top okay so we've fished this wire through um, be careful this is heavy you want to make sure that you're not underneath pinching the wire like i said you don't want spontaneous deployment of airbags um, i mean or if you do then just go ahead and pinch it i mean but we don't so um, it's a little bit of a pain to get this rectangular connector through us the uh, circular hole here but hey we did it okay so next up we are going to put our seat on the swivel base and we'll bolt that down as well okay so we put our seat back on top of the swivel base um, there's four bolts that are included um, I'm using a t50 to tighten them down instead of an allen because I don't have an allen big enough and the torques will work um, but uh, after these four, we're going to hook the seat back up to the, um, to the uh, wire harness underneath, and we're going to give this thing a swirl. Okay, so we've run into a little bit of a snag again. Um, it always happens, it seems like. One that required us to take it completely back apart. Yeah, as you can see, so the base and the seat are no longer sitting here. Um, that's because the cable underneath is not reaching far enough because... We have the auxiliary battery option inside of our Sprinter. Now, this is not something that I knew that we had until after, after we had bought the vehicle. It wasn't a real consideration. Um, we some of these, think about it. Yeah. yeah, some of these Sprinters come with these like little crazy one-off options that I don't know. You're not going to know about. So what we're doing is we are. Well, actually, Sandy's taking apart the wiring harness in order to just get the wiring harness that hooks the seat to see if it'll give us a little bit more room and I think it will. If you come up above I'm gonna to have to retape this but okay so we have the passenger side in um, so the little thing that we did with the uh, with the connector uh, actually worked so we have full mobility of the seat and in case you were wondering the height difference that this adds take a look Okay, so what's turned what's supposed to be a couple hour project is pretty much turning into all day, but um, I think we can knock out the driver's seat, hopefully, relatively quickly. All right, so first stop, connector. Battery is still disconnected. All right, so swivels on. Make our little circle for our hole and we're going to cut that out so we can pass our cable through just like the passenger side and just in case you were curious what underneath the uh, driver's seat looks like okay feeding our cable through yeah we don't have the length problem with this one as we do the passenger side these bases are heavy they're like 30 40 pounds a piece so just be careful so there is a difference between the passenger and driver's side. So this circle is actually offset towards the center of the van. So if it's over here, and let's say you just opened both boxes and you didn't know which one was which, um, that's an easy way to tell. So the circle should be closer to the middle of the van than the outside of the van. All right, so the base is on. Now it's time for our four screws for the seat. So much easier than the passenger side. They say this is supposed to be the harder one. This kit actually comes with attachments for the handbrake. Um, we don't have a handbrake here. Ooh, no handbrake. Makes life a lot easier. Okay, so driver's seat's in. We're gonna double check to make sure we plugged in our connector because we don't want to throw any codes. We're not sure if we're gonna throw any codes anyway, um, especially because the auxiliary battery system. So, um, but next, uh, remember when we disconnected the battery to begin with, um, we're going to reach back in the same hidey hole and reconnect our battery. Uh, 
All right, so let's test this baby out. Okay, so, moment of truth. Did we throw any codes? All right, guys, so zero codes, that's awesome. Um, these codes are supposedly super expensive to get cleared by Mercedes. Um, I've heard like 175 to $200, so yay! All right, guys, ta-da! Yeah, pretty soon you're going to be able to come over and we're going to be able to sit here and you guys can sit over here on the couch and we can all hang out. We can fit two of you. <laughs> At a time. Two. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, if you see us on the road in the future, <laughs> stop by. Just knock on the yeah, door. Yeah, we'll get out the table. We'll play some games. Yeah, there you go. Beer. All right, guys, so this wasn't such a bad project. Did have some problems with the passenger side. Um with the uh, auxiliary battery kind of creating an issue with the mm -hmm. cable that attaches to the chair. But we got lots of practice doing it a second time, so it made the driver one super easy. The driver one <laughs> took like 10 minutes. <laughs> like, I'm not even kidding, 10 <laughs> minutes. This, the pastor took me... All day. Like three hours, <laughs> maybe. And this one took me 10 minutes, so... <laughs> but anyway... We're um, super excited about them. We love them. Yeah, it already feels super roomy in here. So we actually got these, our, well, our um, swivels from Sprinter Upgrades. There's lots out there. Seemed to be a little bit of a shortage of them going around when we ordered them, but we got them from there. We'll leave a link to their website if you're interested in the ones that we used. Um, that'll be in the description below. Of course, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, leave us a comment. Let's chit-chat talk, whatever. <laughs> yeah, let's chit-chat talk. Chit-chat talk. If you know what that is, then definitely freaking <laughs> link that below. <laughs> Alright guys, that's going to do it for this video, and until next time, stay, stay wonderful. wonderful. Call it a day.